are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. Hey guys, Michael here with the Homemade Genius. Got an update for you on the Walk This Way staff. Um, I finished packing the tip with foam like I said I was going to. I wrapped it in some uh, grip tape and some painter's tape right here. That's all I'm using, nothing fancy. Um, and I want to you know, kind of work it and get that rough, gnarled shape like I was uh, explaining to you before. Um, you know, again, I don't want this to be a perfect cylinder. I'm not looking for that at all. That's not the direction I'm going. I want that rough, gnarled, wrinkly leather, kind of like a staff would be. Um, so anyway, there's the tip. I've got that put on. The next thing I'm going to be doing is coating this with some epoxy. So what I'm using is that same uh, 303 epoxy that I've used before in the past. If you watch any of my other videos, you've seen me use it. It's really great stuff. Um, it takes a long time to dry, which is fine because it allows the epoxy to really set and get smooth and get level. Um, a lot of people like to use the fast drying epoxy, and and that's fine. It, you know, I use it when I want to adhere apart, and I'm not really too particular about what it looks like. In fact, that's what I used on the tip here: a fast five minute epoxy. I let it set, made sure it was in place, and got to put the foam in all in the same day. Um, this slower epoxy, it seems to cure slower, it cures harder, and I really trust it, uh, you know, for the strength that I need to do the job. You know, sometimes with these epoxies, uh, the faster set ones have a tendency sometimes to crack a little bit more. At least that's my experience. Um, you know, maybe there's some newer products out there that don't have that issue. Uh, in which case, if, if there are and you know of any, please leave them in the comments. I'm always looking for better materials to use. Um, but this 303 system uh, uh, is really excellent and it's been working perfectly for me uh, so far. Um, okay, um, and essentially what I'm doing is I'm dipping it in the brush. Obviously, I'm not going to walk you through the step by step. Um, but what I'm doing is kind of putting it on the top and letting it drip down and just making sure it's in all the cracks. I'm not trying to be fussy. I'm not trying to be particular. I just want to be sure the nooks, the crannies in this first go around, they're all covered. Um, there will be another coat. I'll show you that just in a little bit here. Um, you know, but essentially, I'm putting this on nice and thick. I'm gonna let it, uh, let it sit overnight, and when we come back, it'll be fully coated and ready for the next phase. All right. Well, I've got some of the epoxy left over, and I'm gonna go ahead and use it to mount the threads in the handle so that I can have the extension on here that I need, uh, so I can install the the, uh, the skull cap that I've got for this walking stick. What I want to do is try to fill the, this hole up as much as possible. I'm going to accomplish two tasks with this. The first is that epoxy is going to be a superior bond for that for that thread and allow it to really set in there and, and not go anywhere. When I drilled into it, I managed to just barely touch where the um, sword starts. So there's going to be a perfect bond straight through um, into the handle. The second thing is it's really going to be solid inside that handle, give it a little bit of weight, a little bit of strength, and a little bit of heft. I made the hole slightly bigger than I needed to. Um, again, at this point, it's not going to hurt. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and brush a small coat on the handle just to go ahead and get the process started there. Um, and really, all I have to do now is wait for this to dry. And then once it's done, I'm going to mount the skull head on it, put a little foam, and uh, start shaping it. Well, here we go. Um, as I said, I was going to wrap those threads in some foam, which I used, uh, again, some fast setting epoxy there, and basically made a sleeve with that foam, put it right over top of it, attached the skull head to it, came out perfect, and now I'm just using the Dremel to kind of shape it out here. 
Again, not trying to be perfect. I don't want it to be perfect. If you did, for example, want to make it perfect, you know, there's a hundred ways to do that. You could just take your time and hand sand it if you want to. Um, you can do like I did with the survival staff and, and make a rudimentary lathe out of an old drill. Um, you know, again, the whole premise behind homemade genius isn't being the smartest guy in the room. It's just being willing to think outside of the box. You know, if I show you anything on this channel, that's what I want to show you. It's just try new stuff, do new things, think out of the box. And, man, there's more than one way to do just about anything out there. So, you know, I hope people don't take a look at this channel and think I'm some arrogant know-it-all because 99% of the time I'm figuring this stuff out with you right here on video. So, you know. If I inspire one of you to try something different tomorrow that you would no normally not do, I'd call it a win. Um, anyway, get off that soapbox here. Uh, I'm just going to finish up grinding this handle a little bit and trying to get it just perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead and start coating the entire thing in that epoxy um, and making it look perfect, look smooth, and start working this thing together. Hopefully in a few days we'll have some paint on it. Thank <laughs> you.